Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video I want to talk about 3D printing and uh, the fact that you can 3D print accessories for astrophotography. Now, those of you that are in this hobby know that even the smallest accessories or parts or adapters can be really expensive. You know, you can pay 30, 40, 50 pounds just for a small adapter that will take it from one size thread to another. So I just want to talk about a few things that I've designed and printed and I also want to talk about a few things that other people sell uh, that I've actually bought uh, and I want to give them a mention in this video because I think some of their parts and customer service and helpfulness is, is really good and uh, I think it'd be useful for everybody to know about them. So I just want to start off with a couple of my own parts that I've designed and 3D printed over the past 12-18 months. The first one being filter masks. Now anybody that uses unmounted filters, uh, you get these filter masks um, holders. These are for 36 millimeter unmounted filters. They have the three holes to hold your filters in place in a filter wheel. Now some filters will actually come with these in the pack, but I always find that they're just too flimsy. As soon as you start tightening the screws down, they start to lift in between the screw holes and then you end up getting a gap so they're not actually being they're not actually holding the filter all the way around so i designed and 3d printed these which are a lot thicker uh, and they don't bend at all when the screws are in now the links to these and anything else that i talk about today will be down below in the description to the stl files uh, along with links to all the sites where you can buy accessories uh, that I'm going to talk about as well, whether it be eBay uh, and other places. But that's the first one, very simple to do, very quick to print. Only took about an hour and a half to print seven of these, uh, and I will put the file down below. But they're a lot stronger and a lot more rigid, uh, saves you having to buy them. The second one, very, very simple, is spacers. Now, we all talk about back focus, especially with the... Uh, getting the right back focus with field flatteners and reducers and sometimes you might only need 0 0.1, 0 0.2 millimetre of a difference and trying to find something to buy online. They are available but uh, again they're, they're pretty pricey for what they are so why not just 3D print them? These are M42 ones that I did for a project. Um, I think with my printer I've only got a cheap uh, Voxelab Aquila X2 printer. I think it was only about £120. Uh, and the thinnest I could do is uh, realistically is about 0.2. Uh, I did try 0.1, but they weren't very good. Um, so yeah, you can print them. Obviously, any thickness you want to get your back spacing, bang on. Very simple to do. The next one, a bit more complex. Um, my Esprit 100, I've actually got a... Um, a deep sky dad flats automated flats panel fitted to the end of it so i designed this this is a this is a lens cap for it now it fits on the inside because of the flats panel that i've got it can't fit over the outside but obviously they could be printed like a normal dew cap to fit over the outside and you'll notice i've got a thread in the middle here so to go with it i 3d printed a two inch desiccant holder now this is in this is in two parts. I made this to screw into there. So then it can be fitted with desiccant in there into the end of your telescope at the end of an image in session. Any residential dew that's left in there or damp is going to get soaked up until you next go out and use your telescope. And then also this can obviously be unscrewed and used with its own dedicated cap. Again, all 3D printed and be put into a two inch eyepiece again to take any re any res residential dew or moisture out of the scope um, and that way. So it's a three part system, but this is specifically for the Esprit with a flats panel fitted. Like I say, you'd have to adapt the design to fit as a normal dew cap. But I thought it was really useful. Because I know, you know, we all use juice straps, but you can still get a bit of damp. And the last thing you want is any mould growing. So it just screws in there, fits inside the end and just be left there until your next session. 
and that's my design and again the files will be in the description below the next one again my design but i didn't print this this is a filter slide holder uh, for the Ascar all-in-one um, filter slide. Now that's those are the Ascar filter holders, and this will take four. And again, the file for this will be down below. I designed this, but I didn't print it, and I'll talk about who printed it in a while. The reason I didn't print it was because it was going to take around 21 hours on my printer, and I won't leave my printer overnight to do prints. I just don't like the idea of going to bed and leaving it. So that holds four. It prints as is. It prints it with the holes here, and then you have to buy four millimeter magnets, which just push into those holes that are left. Uh, and then that holds. The magnets on there will just fit in and hold them nicely in place. I just thought it was better than putting them back in, you know, in any other type of individual cases. Keeps them all together. Keeps the dust off them. Uh, and that, and like I say, the link, the STL file for that will be in. But that's purely for the Ascar all-in-one filter drawer. Um, again, it would have to be altered to fit other filter drawers. The next one, this is by a company on eBay called Craftology, and the guy's name is Greg. Really, really nice bloke. Really helpful, and he prints. These rings, amongst other things, for the Skywatcher Evo Guide 50. I don't want to take all this out because this has just come straight off my scope and it's all set up. So these rings here are 3D printed. Even the knobs with the screws are 3D printed. And they come with a, with a mounting hole on the bottom of each. He also does, does these with mounting on the top so you can put Vixen rails. He does Vixen rails for them. He does a multitude of different things. And the link to his website, uh, his eBay shop, will be down below in the description. Absolutely great. I think they're much better uh, than the original. Really solid. They keep it really rigid. And I'm very, very happy with those. And he'll do other sizes if you, if you tell him what you want. He can either resize these or he can use a design that you've already got. Uh, he, he's a really helpful guy, so well worth checking him out. He also did for me a dew shield for the Evo Guide scope. Felt lined, fits perfectly onto the end of that. Like so. Just to give you a bit more dew protection because the lens is not far inside the dew shield is not very deep on that so uh, it does really help with that but again a perfect fit he also does all the felt lining around the inside for you as well so that's that one the next one is tried to print this this is a Bahitnov mask which I tried to print in the same colour for this didn't quite work out exactly the same but Hey oh, and that fits to the end. Um, again, these are available. You can buy these uh, from Craftology. Uh, this is one that I did myself. Um, but the Craftology sell them on their eBay shop. Uh, very useful. The next thing is, uh, you've probably all heard, any of you in the hobby have heard of Luke from Luke Matico, the uh, YouTube channel. Uh, absolutely excellent content on there, well worth checking it out, but he actually sells, prints and sells a lot of um, 3D parts, he does a lot for the Seastar scope, he does uh, filter holders, Bahitnov masks, lens caps, uh, he also does Bahitnov masks for the Red Cat, he's got new projects on the way, but the link to his channel will be down below along with a link to his eBay store and his Etsy site, got some great products but it's well worth checking his channel out i watch everything he does uh he's he's an excellent youtuber and uh also an excellent astrophotographer in fact he makes me quite sick really because he makes it look so easy um so that's just a few parts there are many many others out there there's also a company called i think it's buckeye stargazers that do 3D printed parts and sell them. I think they're available on First Light Optics website and they sell Losman D and Vixen clamps, all 3D printed, and they do them with adapters to fit onto the Intel NUC uh, mini computers. They bolt directly to the bottom of those and then they can, you can slide them on to a Losman D rail. 
I actually use one of their clamps on my Pegasus uh, Astro hub. I've got one put on the top of it and then it slides on the underneath of my setup. You can probably see it in one of my other videos, but I'll add, I'll add a picture in this video. Um, and, that, and that holds the hub onto the Losman derail uh, really well. And they're all 3D printed. I think they're based in Canada, but they do sell all the products at all dealers and uh, they have got them available on the First Light Optics website. So well worth checking them out. They do a range of other things as well as, as the clamps, but uh, very, very good. So yeah, that was just a quick video on uh, 3D printing, how useful it can be. And I said at the beginning, I've only got a cheap printer, but you can pay hundreds, thousands of pounds for your printer. I paid £120 for mine. It's a Voxelab Aquila X2. And it's excellent. It does exactly what I want it to do, albeit it does take longer than some of the more expensive printers. So uh, be prepared, you know, to hang around for 10, 12 hours sometimes for a print. Uh, some prints, like I say on this one, especially was going to take over 20 hours. Uh, so I got the guy at Craftology to print this for me. For what he charges, sometimes it's probably not even worth doing it myself. He even put my Astro Shed logo on the front no extra charge there but he printed that for me um but it was my design and again he will actually print your designs for you if you send him links or stl files or if you've got a good idea of what you want he'll probably even design it for you and print it um but uh, like i say all the links are down below so check them out um, if you like what you see leave a comment and a thumbs up because I do like to read all the comments and I do reply to them all I don't think I've missed any but if I have please let me know so uh, until the next video clear skies to you all and I'll catch you in the next one